Hi everybody, welcome back. We're going to talk about the tobacco color on this bag. I received this bag and I was surprised by the darker color. And it still does look like tobacco on camera. I see in my little viewfinder that it looks like tobacco. And it is tobacco. It's just kind of different. And I was trying to figure this out and I even asked that group I mentioned on Facebook. I said, guys, do you, did I get a dud? Like, why is this so dark? Like, why is there no variation in coloring? And more people were sharing their bags. And I reached out to Saddleback and I'm like, okay, Saddleback, you know, what's going on? I thought tobacco was this more of like a warm, you know, reds, orange color in the Brown family and they did write me back. So I want to re read what they told me and then I'm going to show you my versions of tobacco that I own. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay. So they said that tobacco is going to be out of all their four colors, chestnut, dark coffee brown, tobacco, and black. Tobacco is going to be the most inconsistent color and that is because there are no dyes added. To the hide so um, because they can't control that color formula the colors all vary and there's different reasons they vary so they're never going to be consistent they always will vary uh, there's so many factors there's humidity in the air is a factor to tanning hides um, uh, humidity in the air when the hide is drying that's a factor the dew point of the air is a factor to the color Humidity of the hide when the wax is being poured over it. Um, it varies because of the type of cow, the age of the hide, how many hides were in the drum at the time it was in the drum, temperature of the air when the wax is applied at the end. So that's pretty intense to me. I've never been to a tannery. Dave from Saddleback Leather did a really extensive review or video about tanning um, leather in a tannery and it was really great maybe I'll link that in the description box below but uh, I did not realize that so much went into like how many factors can change your tobacco leather so as I said earlier it's like consistently inconsistent and that's to me I don't know I don't know how I felt about it because on their website when you buy something you actually don't see the exact bag you're buying you're seeing like their stock photo and then you get a bag and I've had a lot of great success with the colors I've gotten straight from the manufacturer and I've had success buying these bags used. So the pro to buying them used is you can actually see the color either through eBay or the Facebook buy sell group. But um, but then there's the negative is that uh, it's maybe a used bag and it has a patina that you didn't put on it or it could have a smell or it could have too many scratches. All those things are from the used market. So. Uh, this is all information. I don't really think I have a full-on opinion. I need people to feel with me. I wasn't the biggest fan, I guess, of this color, but I wore this bag for, you know, three weeks, and I still got tons of compliments from people. So it's almost like people who don't know Saddleback Leather are still in love with the color. It's just if I'm, I, maybe I'm a super fan. I don't know. I feel like because I know a lot, I can have a lot of opinions. Um, but it, it's nice to know that it's not necessarily a quality issue. It's more of just the way leather is made and how Saddleback Leather approaches that. And um, I would say there's no issue with quality. Hardware is awesome. Stitching is awesome. Still 100-year warranty. So that's a mouthful, but that's what I learned. So let me show you some other leather colors that I have. The tobacco color. Yeah. Okay, so I have a viewfinder above this little camera. Look at the huge difference in this. This is, was this my first tobacco piece? This or my hobo? But this is probably from the end of 2014. And this is what I would call like their yellow green family of brown. I'm an artist, so there are tints to everything. I, and this one I think is almost like a brown neutral because if you jump to my, oh, let's get the, let's get this guy right there. This is probably my most popular review on this bag. Let's throw all this on the floor. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm filling up this frame. Okay. Do you see all these amazing colors? Maybe I should do it like this. Maybe like this. Okay. So, this medium simple came into my life beginning of 2015, maybe March of 2015. And I would say that this tobacco color is like more of the red orange family. Because if you see, like, there's more yellow in this, and this is more red orange. But then between these two guys, I feel like this tobacco is more like a neutral, cool tones. So, what are your primary colors? Yellow, red, and blue. And they're not obviously adding any color to this hide, that's what they said. But a lot goes into the factors, and I listed those. But, um... Even the type of cow, that kind of threw me. I was like, yeah, I guess different cows would have different kind of leather once they are, <laughs> once they become leather. Okay, so uh, one texture and feeling from this bag is that it's a little bit more high and low in variation and values. The oils come to the surface a little bit easier, um, but... This one has more of like a soft velvety touch. I felt like this one is a little more structured. I would not say it's plasticky, but it doesn't have like when I would go like this with my finger, it's not showing this velvet texture to the leather. And then this guy, I think from late 2014, he had the same kind of, it has the same texture as well. So I see that this is the most current t tobacco color, but who knows what's going to happen once they get a whole nother cow or a different herd comes in or... I mean, please comment below if you have different thoughts and share your knowledge. I don't think that I need to be the one that only has this opinion. Tell me what you know. What have you heard? Um, even if you're a leather maker, let me know what you find out. So, alright, here's two more tobacco. That's my hobo. That's my book bag. Look at this well. I, okay, guys, I love tobacco. Tobacco was my favorite color for a really long time. Now I like black. Can you see the black? And uh, this one's chestnut right here. But um, see the difference here? This one's more in that yellow family. This is more in the red family. I feel like these might be very similar. No, this one more looks yellow and this looks more a little red and anyway. What can I tell you? So, uh tobacco <laughs> tobacco to me is more of a type of leather for a certain kind of personality. I'm a pretty uh casual person. I'm I think I'm funny. I think I am, but that's up for debate. And so I just think I don't have a corporate setting, so I always lean towards tobacco. It's just, to me, just, it photographs really well, it feels really good, all that stuff. But, um, if you hate all the drama of the different colors, then maybe you are like a chestnut person and you like things a certain way, because I don't feel like chestnut has ever changed. Uh, Dark Coffee Brown had some drama back in the 2012s, and now what it is is, uh, I think it's consistently coming out this color, which is very lovely. Very lovely. And then, obviously, black is super consistent. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the tobacco conversation. Um, I see myself, maybe, if there's a certain bag I really like, I could see myself waiting to see if it's used, or buy it on the used market, just so I have a particular color. But my, also my uh, leather bag collection is quite full. And so I don't see myself really having to replace this one or this one. And I love these colors. So now you know. I think that's it. Okay, did we do it? Oh, oh, this is something. Hold on. I have a question for you all, and I'd love for you to comment below if you want. But... I'm not sure what video I'm going to do next. I haven't decided. So I have three ideas. And you can say, Danae, do all three. Or you can say, I like this one or this one. So the first idea is, would you like to see a collection video of all my bags? Because I actually don't just own Saddleback Leather. 
I own a handful of other leather brands, but I don't do reviews on them because I don't really feel like there's a big interest, but I wonder if you want to see them. Maybe not a review of them, but just see them. So a bag collection video, and then, uh, or a video about how to buy a leather bag. I have a lot of experience with eBay and this buy sell group and questions to ask and things to make sure you're looking out for. 